Hi everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about writing letters. We're going to, to learn how to write formal letter and informal letter. Okay, let's just get started. A letter is a written message from one party to another containing information. Okay, so, so we have a formal letter and informal letter. Let's look at the difference, the purpose. The purpose of formal letter is for professional communication and informal letter for personal communication. So the purpose is different, professional and personal. And the language is used, formal language in formal letter and everyday language in informal letter. And it's usually written to a principal, a teacher, a colleague, or business partner. So it's like business letter. And then informal letter is written to family, relatives, or friends. So it's between those who we know. Okay, so let's talk about formal letter first. What is formal letter? A letter written in formal language with a specific structure and layout. So in formal letter, we have a specific structure and layout that we have to follow, like this layout. Yeah, this is an example, a layout for a formal letter. So we have a specific structure. Okay, it is written to seek permission, to request, to complain, or to apply for something. Uh, for example, to apply for job or school. Okay, now let's look at an example of a formal letter. Okay, so this is an example. The first is sender's address. So in sender's address, we have a name, the name of the sender, Angel Ginting, and then the address, and SUD Street, and then this is the zip code, and then this is the district and the regency and the province north sumatra and we also have the date january 8 2022 okay and then recipient's address we have the name of the recipient mr simbolon and this is the company or the office acc computer and the same the zip code and then the place the city and then this is the greeting. Yeah, this dear Mr. Simbolon. Just to show uh, respect, right? Okay, next we have subject. So what is this about? What is the letter about? So it's very clear that it's about defective MacBook Pro 14. So it is about MacBook that is defective. And then I'm going to write the content. Yes, in this letter, I'm going to complain about the MacBook Pro 14 that I bought last week. So, usually, in the content, we have three paragraphs. The first is what we're going to say, and this is specific in details, what we're going to complain, and the last, what we hope. Okay? So, three paragraphs, usually in the formal letter. Okay, and then we have sign off your sincerely and then sender's name and Ginting. sometimes we can include the signature in the middle between sign off or sender's name okay so this is the example of the formal letter okay let's look at another example so here we have a request for opening a new saving accounts so it is not a complaint but it's a request and here we have Sender's name and sender's address. Yes, we can see the difference. In the previous letter, we have in the top left the sender's name and address, but here we have in the top right and the date as well. In the top right, okay, I think both are okay, both are acceptable for the sender's address and date. And here, the same, we have uh, the recipient's address and name, Mr. Bansal, and then uh, here we have the address and etc. Okay, so we can we also have 
mm, subject request for opening a new saving accounts and then the content sign off and then the name okay both are okay both are acceptable okay now let's talk about informal letter so it is written for casual purpose so it's not formal yes like the name informal so it's for casual purpose and there's no set structure for an informal letter there's no set structure you don't have to follow a certain rule to write an informal letter okay so here we have um an example sender's address date dear content okay let's let's look at let's let's uh, let's just look at an real example okay first we have address number 11 Paul road uh, this is the zip code for three zero 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 kajang selangor malaysia and 9 july 2009 and greeting dear daniel and opening have you been i hope my letter finds you in the best of health and spirit yeah this is very personal right yes this could this could be between friends let's look at the content i'm very happy in my new school okay on the other hand this school implements strict timetables and ending i believe my life here will be interesting yes and sign off in signature you can see the difference the content it's very personal it's between friends sharing experiences okay <clears throat> okay this is another example yeah the same still we have the address the sender's address date and the greeting dear maya and the content thank you very much for your last letter it was great to hear from you after so many months you seem to be having nice time in france okay so it's also letter to maya from Aditi. hope to see you soon yes this is also very personal yeah so we don't use this in a formal letter <clears throat> okay another example we have what is this this is invitation for birthday party so somebody is invited to a birthday party on 25th august yes for birthday party is also uh, categorized as informal letter so we can use informal letter to invite somebody to our birthday party so we can take a look yeah waiting for your information the name of the sender go up okay, now let's look at the language used in informal and formal letter yes informal letter correct grammar and vocabulary while in informal letter like formal grammar and vocabulary now contractions example i will in informal contraction i'll you can use contraction and no idioms in formal letter yes if we want to say i was sick we should say i was sick we're gonna say i was feeling under the weather no it's idiom but in informal letter yes it's acceptable and no possible verbs yeah for example investigate we should use formal word not look into this is a puzzle verb and no abbreviations yes yeah. so if you want to say as soon as possible you, you should write it down as soon as possible not asap like in informal letter and no imperatives we should be polite you can use the word may you may complete the form but in informal letter yes we tend to use imperative complete the form like that Okay, so that's the difference and then this is the reference if you want to check more about formal and informal letter okay, i think that's all for today thank you for your attention don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye for now